Hi, I'm Joe Dante, and this is Trailers from Hell. In 1958, at the Park Theater in Morristown, New Jersey, I took in one of the greatest 1950s double features, The Revenge of Frankenstein and Curse of the Demon. And when the show let out, as good as the Hammer film was, all the kids were talking about was the black and white second feature, Curse of the Demon. We didn't know, of course, that the U.S. version was 13 minutes shorter than the British original, Night of the Demon. But both versions are now accessible, and the movie is rightly considered a horror classic. Opinions vary as to the efficacy of showing the demon, but controversy be damned, it's a terrific picture, and frankly, a terrific demon. It has been written since the beginning of time that evil, supernatural creatures exist in a world of darkness. And it is also said, man can call forth these powers of darkness the demons of hell. M.R. James' Victorian ghost story, Casting the Ruins, formed the basis of this 1957 adaptation, variously titled The Haunted and The Bewitched during the shooting, and directed by Jacques Tourneur as an intended return to his classic Val Luton roots. Brash American producer Hal Chester, who began his career with a series of Joe Palooka movies, didn't buy the Luton approach of subtle scares and needed an on-screen monster to sell to the coveted juvenile trade, so there was a lot of tension on set between the two approaches and Turnier always regretted that he was not involved with the editing. Hitchcock writer Charles Bennett supplied the literate script with an assist from uncredited blacklist dean Cy Enfield, which sustains an atmosphere of supernatural dread and foreboding throughout. It's easy to see how this would have worked in 1940s mode with the power of suggestion providing the menace, but at this late date, that wasn't a commercial option. As the occult investigator hero, Dana Andrews' problems with the bottle are occasionally in evidence, but he respected his friend Turnier and gives a committed performance. Challenging his professional skepticism is Peggy Cummins, whose name is misspelled on this trailer, fired from Forever Amber for not being sexy enough, only to roar back as a super sexy psychotic and gun crazy. Irish actor Niall McGuinness, best known at the time as Martin Luther in a picture nobody remembers, steals the show as cult leader Julian Carswell, one of the great genre villains, a witty, unfailingly polite mother's boy and dedicated Satanist. He has all the best lines. Add a great art direction debut by Oscar-winning Ken Adam and a thundering musical score by Clifton Parker, and you've got one of my favorite Evil pictures. supernatural creatures really do exist.